If you're looking for an affordable laptop with the latest and greatest specs, then this laptop should be on your list. This laptop is priced less than 5,000 ringgit Malaysia and yet it comes with the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 258V. How is that possible? Well, it is actually a reality now. You can go out and buy this laptop. This is the Asus Swift 14 AI with the SKU model number SF14-51-716M. With an unbelievable price tag for its specs, is this laptop actually good? Well, let's take a look at the design first. At first glance, there's really nothing out of the ordinary here. It's a sleek looking laptop, thin and also has an aluminium chassis. One interesting design choice though is the inclusion of this logo at the top left corner of the lid. What's this for? Well, we'll talk about it in a minute. Opening up the lid and it goes 180 degrees flat reveals a 14 inch OLED screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels and at 60 hz refresh rate. This screen is just beautiful. It covers 100% of both sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamuts while having a low Delta E number as well. The maximum number here is definitely an outlier since the average is so low. The maximum brightness is at 400 nits in SDR mode but it also goes up to 650 when in HDR mode. Pretty good overall. There is also a chamfered edge all around the screen and the top of the screen also has a slight bulge so that we can open up the laptop easier. And it also houses the webcam there too. There is also yet another privacy slider so that we can close the webcam entirely and we don't have to use those ugly sticky notes on our laptops. The keyboard has good travel distance but the keys do feel a little bit soft to type on but still it is a good typing experience. The trackpad has great tracking and palm rejection so no issues here. And what's this? There is another weird icon shape here. Aha! If you remember there is another weird icon at the top left corner of the lid as well and these two icons have somewhat same motif and this is Asus way of celebrating the ascension to the AI space. As the name suggests, this laptop is called the Asus Swift 14 AI and this icon on the lid here signifies that this is an AI laptop. And this icon on the trackpad actually lights up when we're using Copilot or any of Asus AI software. There are a few AI apps that Acer has included already, like the Vision Art and Live Art, Outer View, Purified View, and also Purified Voice. Essentially, it is an AI activity indicator, and this is a unique implementation of this kind of feature. We can also disable this icon on the Acer Sense utility as well, if we choose to do so. And speaking of the Acer Sense utility, I think this is a new interface. It's very clean and tells us what we need to know at a glance. We have the system status on one side and then we can change the power profile between silent, normal and performance mode or just hit the FN and the F keys together to toggle it quickly. We can also change how the battery is charged and also check if there are any updates for this laptop. There is a checkup tab, a personal settings tab where we can change a lot of system settings and there's also an app center where we can launch apps directly or just pin them to the side of the Acer Sense software. Now, let's talk about the performance. This particular unit of the Acer Swift 14 AI comes with the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 258V with the latest Intel Arc 140V integrated GPU and also 32 gigs of RAM running at 8533 mega transfers per second and about half of it is also allocated to be the VRAM for the integrated GPU. It also comes with 500 gigs of SSD as well. Now, the performance coming out of this laptop is to be expected. We can get great frame rates in games like Black Myth Wukong and also Cyberpunk 2077. We can get through the entire game from start to finish on this laptop and expect above 30 FPS throughout the entire gameplay, with some help of upscaling tech, of course. This laptop is a bit more conservative in terms of its maximum package power, even though I have already selected it to run in performance mode in the Acer Sense utility. I'm okay with it though, as the temperature is also very tame. The maximum that we observe is only at around 75 degrees Celsius. Other online games like Xenozone Zero also runs very well on this laptop and combined with the magnificent OLED screen, this game just looks so much more vibrant and lively than any other monitors. 
One off-putting aspect of this laptop though is the speaker. It just sounds very teeny and I expect that this shouldn't be a problem for many people since most of us are either using headphones or earphones anyway. And yet the battery life of this laptop does not disappoint either. As stated in our test regarding the Intel Core Ultra 7 258V, the SoC wattage can dip to somewhere around the average of 1 to 2 watts. And for this laptop in particular, with its 65 watt hour battery, we can get around 19 hours of battery life via the PCMark Modern Office Battery Life Benchmark with its brightness locked at 100 nits. Seriously, this can last you throughout a full day of usage without any issues at all. The ports on this laptop is not bad either. They are two Thunderbolt 4 ports and they are definitely great if we connect it to a dock or a KVM monitor and get 90 watts of charging with keyboard and mouse and display via that one single cable only. Plus, we can also use utilities like Thunderbolt Share too. More info about that in the description below. As for upgradability, this is something that I cannot test out since there is a warranty sticker covering one of the screws. But I suspect that the only thing that we can change here is the M.2 2280 SSD and everything else is soldered onto the motherboard. I am confident that this is the case because every other laptop in this caliber is the same. So this shouldn't be any different as well. So at the end of the day, if you want the latest and greatest from Intel, and I do mean great because of its efficiency and performance, then consider getting the Asus Swift 14 AI. For the price of just 4,889 ringgit Malaysia, this is a great laptop for that price. And that's all that we have to share with you here today. Do let me know what you guys think about this laptop. Will you buy it? What do you think of the price most importantly? And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to watch our comparison between Intel and AMD's latest mobile processors as well because I think they both have different approaches this generation and they are both doing a very good job in terms of moving forward towards efficiency while not forgetting about performance. So yeah.